Hey guys, it's your girl King Kelly Ray here, and first of all, I want to wish y'all a happy new year. So, if you're new here, welcome as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. So, in today's video, I will do a wash and go on 44B and 4C hair. Personally, my hair is more to the 4B side, but I also have 4C coils, so don't worry about it. So, first of all, you need to start on clean hair, of course. Uh, if you don't know how to wash and or moisturize your hair, you can click on this link to another two of my videos. So, please watch this first if you don't know how to wash uh, to properly wash your hair so as you can see i'm first separating my hair that is really important because my hair really gets tangled easily and doing a, while doing a wash and go you need uh your hair always needs to be um parted so as you can see i'm uh, spraying my hair with some water because i just wash my hair but my hair is already dry or like damp because i'm a high porosity girl and i need to while moisturizing your hair you always need to work on damp hair uh, i won't explain my whole routine in this video so please watch uh, also watch the video uh, where i moisturize my hair but um Whenever you do a wash and go, you don't need too much product, especially leave-in conditioners on your hair because sometimes gels don't mix very well with leave-in conditioners or curling creams. So just put enough uh, water on your hair, a little bit of uh, leave-in conditioner um, and curling cream and some shea butter or uh, a thick oil like Jamaican black castor oil and you're good to go. So when you're done moisturizing your hair, uh, you can braid it down or you can twist it out in the pants. It depends on what you prefer. But don't do more than six braids on your hair or not even more than four braids because if you do more than four or six braids or twists, your hair will uh, turn out um, as a twist out or a braid out. You want it to look like a wash and go. So uh, you're supposed to make big parts. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so now I will let my hair air dry, uh, I will get ready, I will put some makeup on, I will put some clothes on, and then I will take my braids down. 
so this is how my hair looks after i think one hour or i think even 30 minutes uh put some uh, oil or shea butter on your hands whenever you take out your braids or twists this is to reduce frizz So when you're done taking out um, your braids, it's time to separate your curls. This is really important, so don't be too aggressive while separating your curls slash coils. As you can see, I'm separating the curl at every separation, if you, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. So like every curl, as you can see, has a little separation. Let me just zoom in to show you. So whenever I see a curl or uh, a coil that is already separated by itself, uh, I just pull on it and then uh, it will make my hair appear bigger. It's really easy, it's really simple. Just be careful whenever separating your curls. Okay, so now it's time to style your hair. So personally, I prefer a side part and uh, an afro puff. Or like a pineapple puff so I will show you two styles that I usually do on my wash and goes
okay guys these are the final results thank you all for watching and don't forget to like to comment to share and to subscribe be blessed